स्टैंडर्ड फाइव एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज पार्ट वन चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी वन बिजी एट वर्क आर इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स बिजी एट वर्क आर इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स कैन यू रिकॉल टेक अ लार्ज शीट ऑफ थिक पेपर अबाउट द हाइट ऑफ अ चाइल्ड इन द क्लास पुट इट ऑन द वॉल एज शोन इन द पिक्चर एंड सिक्योर इट विथ टेप्स आस्क वन स्टूडेंट टू स्टैंड अगेंस्ट इट एंड अनादर टू ड्रॉ द आउटलाइन ऑफ द बॉडी नाउ गेट अदर स्टूडेंट्स टू पॉइंट आउट द राइट प्लेसेस ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑर्गन्स विद इन द आउटलाइन द ब्रेन लंग्स हार्ट एंड स्टमक नाउ रिकॉल द फॉलोइंग डिटेल्स अबाउट ईच ऑफ द ऑर्गन्स वन इन विच कैविटी ऑफ द बॉडी इज इट सिचुएटेड वट इज इट्स फंक्शन विच आर द बोन्स दैट प्रोटेक्ट इट आंसर वन ब्रेन इज सिचुएटेड इन क्रेनियल कैविटी अवेयरनेस ऑफ सेंसेशंस एंड इमोशंस एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ बॉडी मूवमेंट आर फंक्शंस ऑफ ब्रेन स्कल बोन प्रोटेक्ट्स ब्रेन टू लंग्स एंड हार्ट आर सिचुएटेड इन थोरेकिक कैविटी लंग्स हेल्प इन मिक्सिंग ऑक्सीजन इन ब्लड एंड रिमूविंग कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड हार्ट मैनेजेस ब्लड सर्कुलेशन ऑफ बॉडी रिप केज प्रोटेक्ट्स लंग्स एंड हार्ट थ्री स्टमक इज सिचुएटेड इन एबडोमिनल कैविटी कंज्यूम्ड फूड इज स्टोर्ड हियर स्टमक इज नॉट प्रोटेक्टेड बाय बोन्स इट इज प्रोटेक्टेड बाय थिक मसल्स कैन यू टेल वॉट बॉडिली नीड्स और सेंसेशंस डू यू बिकम अवेयर ऑफ इवन दो यू आर रीडिंग अ बुक एंसर वाइल रीडिंग बुक वी कुड फील ब्रीदिंग एक्टिविटी एज वेल एज हार्ट बीट्स ऑल्सो वी कुड फील डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड इन स्टमक प्रोसेसेस लाइक रेस्पिरेशन डाइजेशन गो ऑन इन साइड द बॉडी कंटिन्यूसली विद द हेल्प ऑफ सर्टन ऑर्गन्स लेट एस लर्न समथिंग अबाउट दिस प्रोसेसेस एंड द ऑर्गन्स दैट कैरी देम आउट ट्राई दिस यूज अ वॉच to count how many times you breathe in 1 minute when you are sitting comfortably from this work out approximately how many times you breathe in an hour answer when we sitting comfortably we breathe 15 times in a minute so we breathe 15 into 60 is equal to 900 times in an hour respiration we need air water and food to live it is necessary for the body to get a continuous supply of oxygen we get this oxygen from the air through breathing that is why we breathe continuously in our body there are organs that carry out the work of respiration read their names in the diagram on the next page and also their description the diagram above shows our respiratory organs when we inhale the air from outside goes in the trachea and through its branches into the lungs in the lungs these branches divide further into smaller and smaller branches at the end of the last branches there are air sacs or alveoli between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity there is an organ like a flexible sheet it is called the diaphragm the diaphragm and its movement when diaphragm moves downward we breathe in and the incoming air fills in the alveoli in the lungs when the diaphragm moves upwards air in the lungs is pushed out exchange of gases when the outside air reaches the alveoli the oxygen in it passes into the thin blood vessels around the alveoli with the blood it flows to all parts of the body at the same time the carbon dioxide that is brought by the blood from all parts of the body enters the air in the alveoli when we exhale the carbon dioxide is also given out with the air in this way an exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide gases takes place in the alveoli do you know dust and smoke particles may be present in the air in the atmosphere there may even be disease producing microorganisms they are harmful for the body the inner lining of the respiratory organs has fine hair like structures called cilia 
on this inner lining there is also a layer of a sticky substance called mucus the dust and smoke particles stick to this substance thus the harmful substances in the air cannot reach the lungs try this count how many times you breathe in one minute just after you have run a hundred meters get someone else to count how many times you breathe in one minute while you are asleep what is the difference in the two counts the effects of smoking if one keeps smoking over a long period of time the toxic substances in the smoke collect in the respiratory tract as a result the air that enters the lung is not sufficiently purified and the impurities of the air begin to accumulate in the lungs as a result the efficiency of the lungs is reduced the likelihood of getting diseases of the lungs increases the solid particles in the tobacco smoke from the cigarette or bd forms a sticky layer inside the alveoli this reduces the amount of oxygen supplied to the body in addition some toxic substances in the tobacco also enters the alveoli these ill effects lead to diseases of respiratory organs including life threatening diseases like lung cancer passive smoking if there are people around us who smoke then we may have to face the consequences of smoking even if we do not smoke ourselves that is why there is now a ban on smoking in public places digestion let us now learn something about alimentary canal the digestive organs and their functions the alimentary canal the food we eat is digested in our body that is substances that can mix with the blood are formed from the food this process takes place in the different parts of a long and flexible tube inside our body this tube is called the alimentary canal the upper end of this tube is mouth and the lower end is called the anus even if there is a continuous tube going from the mouth to the anus the shape of this tube is not same in all its parts the different parts of the alimentary canal have different structures and functions these different parts are called the digestive organs certain glands outside the alimentary canal assist the process of digestion digestive organs the process of digestion begins as soon as food is taken into the mouth the teeth tongue and saliva all help to convert food into a soft moist ball called a bolus which is easy to swallow the bolus passes through the esophagus into the stomach the stomach is shaped like a bag here the food is churned the digestive juices in the stomach bring about some digestive processes at the same time some disease producing germs in the food are also destroyed the food changes into the thin slurry in the stomach then it passes into the small intestine the small intestine of an adult is about 7 meters long the digestive juices in the intestine bring about several digestive processes the secretion of some glands also help the process of digestion as a result of all these digestive processes certain substances are produced these substances are useful to the body and can mix with the blood in the small intestine they are absorbed into the blood the remaining substances pass into the large intestine the large intestine of an adult is about 1 and 1/2 meters long here much of the water in the remaining substances is absorbed into the body and what remains are the feces or stools the feces collect in the rectum for some time later they are expelled from the body through the anus do you know one a sufficient quantity of water is necessary for the processes of digestion to take place properly as well as for the food to keep moving through the alimentary canal if one doesn't drink enough water one becomes constipated that is one passes hard stool or doesn't pass it regularly none of the other tasks in the body can go on without water the water that is absorbed during digestion is the water that is used for all other processes in the body 
That is why it is so important to drink adequate quantities of water. 2. The upper ends of both the esophagus and the windpipe open in the throat next to each other. When food is swallowed, the windpipe remains closed. But when we eat in a hurry, the food may enter the windpipe and cause us to choke on it. That is the reason why we must not eat in a hurry. We must also avoid speaking and eating at the same time. Do you know? If we want healthy teeth, we need to look after them. Every tooth has a covering of enamel, which protects the delicate inner parts of the tooth. Enamel is the hardest substance in our body. But if we do not keep our teeth clean, even this enamel corrodes and teeth decay. While having our meals, we enjoy many different tastes and flavors. We sense them using our tongue and nose. But sometimes we find that food items tastes or smells bad. It may be because the food is spoiled. One should pay attention to such changes in food. In case the food has really gone bad, one can avoid eating it. Can you tell? Name the organs that bring about respiration. Answer. Nose, diaphragm, lungs, air sacs, etc. Systems in the body. You have seen how several organs work together to bring about respiration. If even one of these organs doesn't function properly, the process of respiration will not be completed. A group of organs which work together to carry out a function of the body is called a system. Thus, the nose, trachea, lungs and the diaphragm together make up the respiratory system. Use your brain power. Name the organs of the digestive system. Answer. Mouth, tongue, teeth, salivary glands, gullet, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. Energy for the body. As a result of respiration, oxygen enters the blood in the body and spreads to all parts of the body. Substances formed in the process of digestion also mix with the blood and reach all parts of the body. Of this, some substances act as fuel for the body. When the oxygen in the blood reaches the different parts of the body, it helps the slow burning of these substances, giving energy to the body. The body uses this energy to carry out all its tasks. Circulation of blood The blood carries the oxygen obtained from the air and the energy-giving substances in our food to all parts of the body. But what keeps the blood flowing? You know that the heart continuously contracts and relaxes for this very purpose. A network that consists of tubes or vessels that carry blood away from the heart and those that bring blood back to the heart is spread throughout the body. The process of keeping the blood flowing through all parts of the body is called blood circulation. Innumerable substances are carried from one part of the body to another all the time. That too is made possible by the circulation of blood. The heart and the network of blood vessels together form the circulatory system. As long as we are alive, the process of blood circulation goes on continuously day and night. Can you tell? 1. How do we know that we are hungry and that we should now eat? Answer. When level of body energy decreases, Brain creates feeling of hungriness. This way we know that we are hungry and we should now eat. 2. How do the salivary glands come to know that there is food in the mouth and it is time to secrete saliva? Answer. As food enters the mouth, brain gets to know this by nervous system. Then brain sends signals to salivary glands to secrete saliva. 3. What makes respiration and blood circulation go on all the time? And the processes of digestion happen at the right time? Answer. Respiration and blood circulation go on all the time. And the process of digestion happen at the right time with the help of brain. As brain looks after overall process of the body. The nervous system. 
the functions of the respiratory, circulatory and digestive systems are vital for the body. They have to be carried out ceaselessly. There are some tasks that we carry out only when we like. For example, speaking, running, studying, playing, etc. You have learnt that coordination means paying attention to all the different functions and ensuring that they all occur at the right time and in the right manner. Maintaining this coordination is the function of the brain. There is a network that connects the brain with all the different parts of the body. This is a network of nerves that carry messages to and fro between the brain and the parts of the body. The brain and the network of nerves are together called the nervous system. The nervous system functions to coordinate all our bodily functions. Do you know? Drinking alcohol has many ill effects on the body. It affects the nervous system leading to loss of control over the movements of the body and lack of coordination. That is why it is dangerous to drive after drinking alcohol. If one keeps drinking alcohol for a long period of time, it causes ulcers on the inner lining of the digestive organs. It can also seriously affect the functions of the liver and kidneys. Use your brain power. Which systems work together to provide the body with energy? Answer. To provide body with energy, heart, lungs, stomach, intestine and brain work together. Other systems in the body. We have learnt something about the respiratory system, the digestive system, the circulatory system and the system that coordinates the functions of all the systems, the nervous system. Besides this, there are several other systems in our body. For example, the skeletal system gives support and shape to the body and protects the important organs inside it. The excretory system expels the waste substances that are formed in the body. The working of all these systems is extremely complex, but it is important to have information about them. Always remember, if the function of any one of our system is disturbed, it affects all the other systems in the body too. What we have learnt? A group of organs that together carry out some function of the body is called a system. The nose, trachea, lungs and diaphragm are organs of the respiratory system. The mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus and certain glands outside the alimentary canal are the organs of the digestive system. Other systems like the circulatory system, the skeletal system, the excretory system also take care of other important functions of our body. The nervous system coordinates all the functions of the body. For us to lead a healthy life, all our systems must function smoothly. A new word, gland, an organ that secretes a certain substance.